this is Stampy, and welcome to a Skylanders Trap Team Let's Play video. This is part number seven, and I am currently countdown, and my head was upside down for a second then. Then watch this. Boop. <laughs> there goes my head. <laughs> ah, dude, that's awesome. Anyway, uh, we're about to do a side mission, I think. I think this might be one of the, the villain missions. So let's go and uh, speak to this mole and see what he has to say. New discovery. Uh, need more than Hello. singing, did that say? There's been a cave in and some of my mining team were trapped in there. I tried singing to get the miners out, but no go. Right now, about the only thing that can bust them out is one of those bruiser cruiser bad guys. No more of my singing. <laughs> I don't know how you'd even think that singing would help, but luckily, uh, at the end of the last episode, I did capture a big villain called Bruiser Cruiser. Uh, so let's pop him out, and let's see if we can save everyone that's trapped in the mines. Oh, am I just going to smash my way through? Oh, there we go. Oh, that was easy. And didn't smash a one of them. Oh, feel free to take some of this treasure. Their reward is, of course, freedom. And me promising to never sing again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind of want to hear him sing now. I think you'd have a beautiful singing voice. And all I think I'm evolving, I think I'm getting stronger. Uh, quest complete. Need more than singing. And whoa, look at me now. I look cool. <laughs> I love the way you can see the little goblin on the inside punching. Uh, and then, like, the, the big robot punches is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go back to countdown. And let's go and open up our present. And by open, I mean... Mash, 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 potato! And ooh, I got a new hat. I'm a little bit worried that if I put on the paperboy hat that I would set it on fire, seeing as my head is on fire. But let's give it a go anyway, and see what it looks like. <laughs> the little fuse of the bomb just goes through the hat. <laughs> That's the way they solved that problem. Uh, oh well, let's go and uh, head off uh, to the, the next area. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay as Countdown just because uh, he's effective in this area. Uh, but when I get to a new area and a new element is effective, uh, then I'm going to switch around and be a, a different character for a little bit. But I don't think I've been uh, Countdown for very long anyway, so I don't mind doing that. Uh, but what I need to do is I need to screw in all of these statues. And then hopefully that big door to the left of the screen uh, is going to open up. And then I can get inside of Chompy Mountain. So first I just need to go and mash this into the ground. And then by the looks of things, there's one on the other side for me to do as well. Looks like we've almost got this big door open. Just find the next coil. And what are you standing around for, my blue defense force? Oh, yep, wait. Like you guys are moving. And you're building a bridge. Nice one. Awesome! Thank you for building me the bridge, my boo friends. And uh, let's see if we can go and get over to that, that big screw that's uh, in the background. Okay, looks like they can just walk through the water. Can I walk through the water? Is that okay? I did see some chicken in the water over there, so I thought I might be able to. Let me... Okay, okay, I can. I can just walk straight in the water. Well, let me go grab that chicken and have a, uh, a little look around there. Uh, the game likes to have lots of secrets, you see. And I'm a little bit curious as to whether there's any secrets around here. Can I... Oh, I can't even jump over there. I guess i got to get there from the, from the other side. So let's go down here then, and uh, let's go and make my way across. I also saw down here some Traptanium. Uh, so let me just go and switch over to uh, one of the uh, the um, uh, Trap Masters. Uh, I'm going to switch over to a Wallop, uh, who is probably uh, probably my favourite, I think. I think he's just the strongest. He just seems so, so good. Like, look at this. Look how fast he just whacks. He just goes, boom, 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 and boom, and just totally destroys this thing. It's awesome. <laughs> Wallop is the perfect name for him. And oh, what did I get? Oh, I got a soul gem for Wallop. I got a new move for Wallop. <laughs> how convenient. Let's see, uh, let's see what it is. Uh, new power unlock. Now that's a hammer. Would you like to preview it? Yeah, sure. I mean, I've obviously got him anyway, but I always love watching these little movies. They look pretty awesome. And uh, they get to show you uh, some of the uh, the moves uh, that you're going to unlock a little bit uh, later on in the game as well. And I guess I have just unlocked a, a new power anyway. What did I What did I unlock? I don't even know if it's said. Do I have a, a new power now? What happens if I hold square or circle? Oh, I think I can throw these further now. Maybe? Possibly? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, let's go back to... Um, old countdown then shall we and uh, let's go and uh, carry on playing as him for now uh, just because he's apparently uh, very uh, effective in this area so uh, let's go and see if we can go and put down that final screw it looks like uh, we need to head our way up this stairs and look at them all applauding me well done you did it and what's what's that little thing oh look there's lots of those little things uh, let's see if we can get through this gate 
Oh, I think I need to try and unlock it. Use the left analog stick to guide the lockmaster to the exit. Oh, we've got to solve the puzzle. Oh, well there we go. I did. I didn't get any of the uh, any of the um, the 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 coins, but I got to the end. Uh, so if I go this way, then this way, then down, then I go down again. There we go. I managed to do it. That was pretty easy. Now, I guess there's going to be more of those puzzles later on, and they're going to gradually get harder. Uh, but I got a little bit of extra money, but it looks like we now need to go and try and take out these little things. Oh, these are the little chompers. This is like you know the the puppet. Uh, that the uh, the chompy mage had. I think I think these are these are like little chompies. And oh, what's this? Oh, there's a little bomb going for us. Oh, I didn't do a very good job at avoiding that. <laughs> and I am pretty hurt actually at the moment. I haven't uh, been able to get my health up for a while. Can I attack these? Nope. I just need to avoid them. But I'm not doing a very good job of doing that. And oh, I think I'm the wrong element. I think I need to be the chaos element. You remember in past videos, um, I was um, I kept finding some gates uh, that said I needed a mystery element. So lots of people said that I needed to, uh, that there were light or dark elements, and uh, I think it's actually a chaos element. I think it's a new element uh, that they've just revealed, and uh, you need a, a trap to, to actually catch chaos. So I think I need to be a Skylander of the chaos element, but uh, I don't think I've actually got any of them yet, so uh, I don't think I can. So let me just stay as countdown for now. I'm getting a little bit overrun. <laughs> let's uh, let's switch back to to um, the stealth elf. I went uh, as the stealth elf. Uh, for a very uh, short I amount of time uh, in the in the last episode. Uh, so let me go back to the, the stealth elf and see what she can do. I know she can teleport. Look, watch this. If I guide this over here, I can teleport. And there we go. Look, I got behind him and was able to surprise him. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> and I want to get some, some more attacking moves for her as well. So if I go over to here, I can go and teleport like that. It's actually going to be probably quite a good way of uh, avoiding the uh, the bombs. And oh, look, it's actually doing lots of extra damage. Uh, being the, uh, the life element is actually helping me do a lot of extra damage anyway. Anyway, so let me just go and teleport over to here. There we go. I was able to get away from all of them. I don't know. There's a big piece of broccoli. There's a big piece of broccoli going after me. Let's go try and take it out. Oh, is the broccoli uh, broccoli friendly? I don't think it is. I think the broccoli might be the main boss, actually. Okay, I need to I need to watch out for that that broccoli then. I think I'm going to have to try and trap it in a minute. Well, let's go try and take up these guys. Oh, I'm not doing very well here. I am not doing very well at all. Let me try and teleport away from them all. There we go. I think I was able to pick up the health even though I wasn't actually there by just using my teleportation move. Um, oh, I think the broccoli is healing them all. I think that's what the broccoli's doing. I see. Right, there we go. Now there's not any of them around. I can go after it. Oh, no, there's one more to jump down here. Oh, I see. Look, they got magnets on their head, so I think they're, they're guiding around the bombs. Right, let's take out this guy, and now I can go one-on-one -on -one against the broccoli if I can. Oh, no, the broccoli's gone. It's gone to hide. Okay, cowardly broccoli. <laughs> Come back and fight me like the vegetable you are. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, let's go up here and uh, let's see where else I can go. So there's the last screw that I need to do. Oh, I could also go up there and uh, try and upgrade. Well, what I might do then is switch around again. I'm switching all over the place here. And I'm going to switch to Spyro. And I'm going to see uh, whether I can buy any more upgrades as Spyro. Because I played a Spyro for, for quite a little bit uh, in the, the last episode. So I got a, a bit of money. So let me see if I can go and buy any any new moves. So let me go and uh, jump my way up here. Get a little bit of health there. And let's speak to the fairy. And uh, let's see whether I can buy any more upgrades. I think I might be able to get at least one. Because, uh, yeah, I could get this one on this one I could afford. Uh, long range blaze or Spyro's flight. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. Now I can go and uh, fly a spiral. I guess I'll probably be able to, to glide around the place now. Well, he does have wings. He is a dragon. He can now breathe fire and fly. Two of the, the main things you'd expect Spyro to be able to do. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. I can just glide around. Oh, and I can fire while gliding as well. Okay. I don't know how this is going to help me too much. But it is just really good fun. It is just really cool being able to fly around like that. I don't think I can go very high, though. You see, if I drop off something and try and do it, I kind of drop down to just above the ground. But oh well. Uh, that's quite cool that I can do that. Now let me try and bounce my way up here. Actually, I'm going to switch back to the, the stealth elf uh, so I can get some more money uh, as her and then hopefully be able to, to upgrade her soon. And uh, let me go and try and carry on uh, jumping my way up here uh, just to see if there's anything hidden. If I go and jump up here, I think there might just be a lot more money I'm getting here. Yeah, loads more money. Anything else up the top up here? I do not think so. So let me go and jump down here. And I'm going to go, before going and screwing that uh, thing in, I'm going to go down here. Because there might be a, a hidden area in this place, or at least some extra money. I've not been all the way around here. Ooh, what's down here? Aha! There is a hidden place. Uh, I found a house. Oh, and a scroll as well. I found a story scroll. 
and uh, I leveled up as well. Yeah, it was definitely worth coming down here. So I'm now uh, level two as the uh, the stealth elf. I'm not going to bother reading any of the uh, the scrolls as I play through, but I can uh, go and have a look in the house uh, to see what there is. Uh, look, I think there might be another one of these uh, little side missions that I need to do as uh, one of the villains. Uh, the Cold Front. Believe it or not, I actually run the troll radio station. None of the trolls trust each other enough to do it. And pretty terrible DJs, too. Um, hello out there, fellow trolls. Is everybody, uh, good? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Except for this one guy I always hear about. Chill Bill is his name. And he used to host a show in college that really blew everyone's mind. Maybe he wouldn't mind coming back to give radio another shot. Ah, so I need to be Chill Bill. Oh, I haven't got him yet, though. I think that's a villain uh, that I'm going to need to capture and then come back. Uh, I actually used to do a uh, a radio station when I was uh, in uh, university as well. Uh, so I can, I can relate to old... Was it Chill Bill? Was his name? Whatever his name was. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, once I've captured that villain, I reckon I can come back here and uh, then complete that side Villains mission. But for now, uh, I guess I can't do it. And so let's go now and uh, head down in this direction. And uh, let me just see if there's anything else over here. Well, I think there might be. Aha! Look, there's another one of these um, these soul gems. And uh, what character is this for? For Bushwhack. Oh, I have Bushwhack, actually. Uh, I'm glad I got this. Uh, new power unlocked. Timber! Right, let's watch the uh, the preview for Bushwhack. Yeah, this is uh, one of the, the characters I have. Another one uh, of the, the Trap Masters. Uh, so let's see what this guy can do. He seems pretty powerful. I think I played with this one before, actually. I think this is the one that throws acorns. And I was laughing at him because <laughs> his big, powerful attack is throwing acorns. Which, <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't expect to be too powerful. <laughs> Let me just try and teleport forward. So I can just stand still and then just go around like this. I seem to be able to do it, like, instantly as well. I don't seem to have to, to wait until I can do it again. So instead of walking around, I can just teleport around like this. <laughs> it's just a, a little bit more fun. Anyway, let's go and... Uh, this down into the ground and then hopefully I can get inside of Chompy Mountain. Down, ready to be infiltrated. So why don't you build them another bridge, Mabu Defense Force? Hey, great! Nice going! You better head over there, Skylander. Quick style. Don't want those noobs wander around inside without you. Alright, let's go inside of Chompy Mountain then, shall we? And uh, let's go and try and face the Chompy Mage, the puppeteer. And let's see if I can take him out and then, of course, As trap him. I feared, the Mabu Defense Force were immediately captured and taken to separate jail cells. See if you can rescue those guys and let them know we'll probably need to spend a bit more time training before their next mission. They were in here for five seconds! They literally walked in the door, then they all got captured <laughs> and put into different prisons. I kind of wish they just stayed outside, to be honest. I just kind of wish they just got, like, out of the way and then just let the stealth elf go through uh, because she seems to be pretty awesome. Right, let's go and uh, break some of these things up, shall we? And uh, let's see where we've got to go. There seems to be a big statue up here. Can I do anything to this? No, I don't think I can, but I should, yeah, be able to smash through here. And uh, let's see if we can get to some of those jail cells. Okay, I need to use the, the cannon. I think to, to try and fire through this wall here. There we go. Now I can carry on going down that way. And there we go. I can see the first jail cell. And whoa, lots of things coming after me. Lots and lots of things going after me. Right, I'm going to switch over uh, to the Bruiser Cruiser and uh, try and do some damage. There we go. I love this move. That move is so overpowered, isn't it? <laughs> Look at it totally destroying them. That was... That was kind of too easy, if you ask me. Oh, well. Uh, let's go back to the, the self elf. And there we go. I rescued someone. And sorry we rushed in ahead of you like that, but I was able to figure out how their elevator system works. Come on. I'll show you. How did you have time to figure out how the elevator system works and then get captured? Literally seconds. <laughs> seconds before I actually got in here. And oh, look. There's another element gate. I need to be the... I think that's the undead element. And I do have one of them. Uh, so let me go and put down uh, a new trap master. And this one is called Crypt King, Trap Master Skylander. And he's going to be able to get himself a new pretty hat. And look, <laughs> look at the little skeleton arms coming up. I know, and I have it. And this guy, this guy looks pretty tough. He looks like someone you don't want to mess with. Look at him swinging that sword around like crazy. And what's that? Are they wasps or something? Or bees? Or 
I don't know, whatever it is, you don't want to get close to it. <laughs> I love the way he just fuds all over the place like this. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, lots of little guys, lots of little guys. Oh, there's another lock I unlock I need to undo there. And oh no, I didn't mean to leave. He didn't even look like he was going to be able to fit through there, to be honest. <laughs> oh dear. So let's see uh, if I can go and uh, try and unlock this lock. There's a little bit of a, a puzzle that I need to do to try and get through. And whoa, this looks a little bit more complicated now. Where, where am I? Okay, I'm there. So let me see if I can... What's that bit of water? I don't know what that water does. Uh, I don't know how I would get to it either. If I go down here, then I could get round here. There we go. I got that money. And uh, if I go up to here, then I can... Oh, no, I went into the fire. Okay, I think I need to get the water to put the fire out first, maybe. And oh, no, straight into the fire. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. So how do I get to that to that water? Um, if I go... Uh, okay, I need to be... I need... Uh, yeah, I can kind of see where I need to be. If I go right now, I'm going to burn again. But I could go down like this... And then here we go. Now I got the water. Is that going to put out the fire? I think this means I can just go through the fire now. So I should be able to go down to here. And there we go. I still got the, the water on me as well. And so if I go up to here, then I can go to here and get these coins. And then I just need to work out. I need to get to the, you see the block uh, to the on the on near the top left? If I get straight onto that, I can just go right. And uh, then I should be able to, to get to that last fire. Here we go. I can go like this and get up. There we go, I was able to solve it. Certainly getting a little bit more difficult now, uh, but I was able to do it, and I should be able to get myself a brand new hat. I also I was able to get all of the, the money as well, which is mighty handy. And now let's go and... Smash, 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 potato! And see what new hat I got. Ooh, looks like a... Like a woodcutter's hat. Oh, no, it's a hunting hat. And it gives me some some more armor and, uh, yeah, some more critical damage. And <laughs> I don't know how much it's going to suit this guy. That looks just so silly. That looks just absolutely ridiculous, doesn't it? Seeing that thing walking around in that hat just looks so unbelievably ridiculous. But it makes me laugh. <laughs> it makes me laugh. But anyway, uh, let's go back to the, the old stealth elf then. Because I don't feel uh, like I've played with her for, for long enough. And uh, let's carry on uh, making my way. Uh, up inside of Chumpy Mountain. So uh, this guy down here, uh, he says, oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I switched a little bit prematurely there. I'm going to go back to the, the Crypt King because uh, it looks like there is some Traptanium uh, that I can go and smash through and uh, hopefully get myself a, a chest on the other side. So let's see how powerful this guy is. I know, so you wait, don't do that anymore. Let me go and send these things going. Are these going to hurt people at all? Okay, they don't seem to do any damage. Maybe they trap people or possess them or or do something along those lines, possibly. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't matter. I was able to, to break my way in. So I can go back to the uh, the stealth elf now and uh, see what is going on in this little hidden cave. There seemed to be another guy in here. There seemed to be another Mabu or whatever they're Come called. To challenge me to a game of Skystone Smash? Well, you're yes. too late. Oh. Wait, no, I mean, you're too early. Oh, you need to learn okay. how to play first. But come back when you do. Well, teach me how to play. Someone said that earlier. I remember on the, the very first mission, someone was saying that you need to learn how to play and then come back. But they're, they're, they're just not telling me how to play. Teach me how to play and I'll give you a game and probably win. Anyway, let's go and get all of the, the money from this chest. And uh, then let's go up the, the elevator and uh, let's see if we can try and uh, save any of the, the other Mabu or Mooba, whatever they're called, uh, that, uh, <laughs> that have all got them themselves trapped. And I probably... I almost have uh, enough money uh, to have uh, an upgrade for the the stealth elf as well. So uh, if the uh, if I find the the fairy around here anywhere else, uh, I can see if I can uh, buy myself some some more upgrades. And probably making it harder for myself by switching characters so much because uh, I haven't had a, enough time to level up just one specific uh, uh, Skylander. Uh, but it is still good fun switching between them all. Good, that's convenient. I'm already the the life element. And oh, I found some legendary treasure. Don't mind if I do. I don't know how that's going to help. Do you reckon I can sell it? Oh, it just gave me loads of money. Look at that. I've almost got a thousand money now. And oh, there's a, a cannon here. All right, let's 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 not go and fight them. Let's go. Let's go slide it to this little gap. And let's fire it in the hole. And see if we can take out some of these people then, shall we? Oh, oh, I didn't hit them. But I hit a statue in the background. All right, let's just keep firing. Actually, let's wait until one's walking past and then fire. 
There we go. I was able to get one of them. Let's wait for the, the other one to walk past. Here he comes. And fire! Nope, a little bit too early. Oh, well, I'm just going to go and deal with him myself then. Let me just go and try and surprise him. Let me go and try and teleport behind him and then surprise him. Oh, no, this isn't going to work. Doesn't matter. Let's just go try and attack him. Let's go take him out. There we go. He was pretty weak anyway. Me, Skylander. Here, I can help you take the next elevator. I love the way the gate wasn't even locked. I just show up and he just like opens the door easily. <laughs> and it seems like if I get a bomb, I'm going to be able to get my way through that gate here. Is there a hidden bomb behind here? Ooh. Ah, now I can push the cannon along and now I can blast my way through that gate. And there's probably going to be some sort of secret behind there. Let's fire it. There we go. I was able to, to break open the gate. So let's go and uh, have a little peek and uh, see what's on the, the other side of here. Look, oh, there, there is. There's a hidden little area through here. Hey, look. Ooh, what's this? I was framed, okay? <laughs> it's guy. the broccoli guy. Oh, I love this guy already. I want to capture him. I want him. I want him to be mine. I want to capture this villain. I want to capture this villain. Right, let me go and just switch over uh, to the the bruiser cruiser and let me use this special move because this is just ridiculously powerful and it's just going to take them all out just like that. <laughs> and let's see if we can go and capture the broccoli guy. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he's very fast. He's much faster than me. I'm really slow. He's just dodging from me. He's not even trying to attack me. He's just running around after to me. Right, let me just kind of try and go in the middle and do this move. And then hopefully as he runs past me, I'll be able to get him. There we go. That did a little bit of damage. Now he's getting hurt. Now he's getting hurt. Let's give him a, a few one-two. And so let me go back to Stealth Elf. Because I think she might be a little bit quicker. And now I can go in after him. Oh, I think he is actually trying to attack me now, is he? I think he's just running from me. Does this guy even have any attacks? <laughs> All he's doing is running really fast away from me. There we go. Can I get him? There we go. Did a little bit of damage now. Oh, I could try and teleport. I could try and use my teleport move. Let's see where he's going to go. Oh, there we go. I was able to teleport to him and he wasn't ready for it. This is smart. I can stand back here. Then when he stands still, I can just teleport to him and then start attacking him. Pretty smart. And I got him. I was able broccoli to capture guy. the broccoli guy. And so I think he was the life element. So let me go and put in my life trap. And then I should be able to, to capture him on the inside. The broccoli guy. <laughs> I love his voice. If you were going to expect what a broccoli would sound like if it spoke, I wouldn't have guessed that. Broccoli guy trapped. Hey, you know what? I'm over it. I'm cool. I'm on board completely with the new plan here. <laughs> I like this person. So, oh no. This is a tough decision. Broccoli guy or sheep creep? I love them both. They're my two favorites. Well, seeing as the uh, the broccoli guy is new, I'm going to switch over and uh, be the, the broccoli guy for a little bit. Uh, just because he's brand new. And here he is. <laughs> and I love the music as well. Right, what can he do then? Does this even hurt people? Does this heal myself maybe? I'm not entirely sure. They don't even really properly have health. I can also make apples appear and bananas. Do you reckon they're traps? Do you reckon they're, they're like fake apples and things to try and lure people towards them hmm i don't know it's quite mysterious so in the next episode i'm going to play around uh, as the the broccoli guy for a little bit and see what his moves actually do because to be honest i am a little bit confused right now it's just making random food appear in big circles <laughs> the powerful attack uh, anyway though we have just about run out of time in this episode i'll be leaving uh, a link to the next episode uh, as soon as i've uploaded it but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later. Bye!